Tinykin is an imaginative adventure that combines 3D platformer with Pikmin and have a peculiar way to show brief parts of the story as animated series. This title puts the player in the shoes of Milo, a scientist from the planet of Ages who has a dream to find the origins of the human race. In between the research, Milo finds himself in an accidental teletransportation back to planet Earth in the year of 91. The main objective is then recover all the items that are needed to rebuild the time machine. During the adventure you will find a lot of friends, but one in specific that it will help you throughout all the adventure with Readme, a moth. Also, tiny kings are extremely valuable on this adventure and it's the, the creatures that gives the name to the game. These creatures are associated with the color and they all have different abilities. For instance, the pink ones are associated with being very strong, so they can help you push items because you are very shrinked. Everything around you is very big, so books, you have shelves that you can enter and find uh, collectibles. Yes, this game is also a collectathon. So in every single room, there's a lot of stuff to collect, including tiny kings. If, of course, you want to complete the game 100%, there's a lot of achievements regardless to collecting stuff. Exploration is really the key, and I don't know if I can call this Easter eggs, but you can find a lot of references to movies. So yeah, explore and check that for yourself. During my six hours of gameplay, I, I was presented to different areas of the house. So for instance, at the bathroom, you can see castles made of toilet paper. Very interesting. 3D world and the paper craft of Milo and all the other characters are very interesting and it's something that really is appealing to the eye. Tiny King is certainly one of the highlights of the year. It doesn't give you a great depth, but what it does, it does really well.